Hey guys, so sorry the lighting is horrible. The it's very gloomy today and cloudy. So I've been away for like over two months. Um, life happens, it's just been crazy and also every time I was going to film something happened or I had to do something or it's just craziness. Anyways, I got a package in the mail today from my good friend Alicia. I always get packages. Well, not always, but a lot of the times I get packages from her. So she sent me some goodies that I really couldn't get or I couldn't find. Um, a lot from the Dollar Tree, which that's like my favorite store ever. And then I think one from Walgreens. Um, I'll show you the thing from Walgreens. And it's this palette that I've been like dying over. And it's the Wet n Wild Smoke and Row. <laughs> Wet n Wild Smoke and Melrose palette. And I used it today. It's on my lid. Um, I actually love this palette so much. Like, first impressions, I love it. It's just a whole bunch of, like, rosy tones. These, um, these palettes are the dupes for the Naked 3 palette, which obviously I can't afford, so whatever. Um, yeah, so there's these. So I have this on my lid this color in my crease and then this is like a definer like outer V shade and then this is in the inner corner the only shade I didn't use is this color right here they're very pigmented um I will say I'll just do this. they're really pretty um shades so there's these swatches right there they're very pigmented. Um, I do have the other palette, which I was in the area of, of a Walgreens, and I picked it up. And I will say that I kind first impressions, I kind of like the Smoke and Melrose palette way better than the Melrose at night. And this is the one that I bought, like, a couple weeks ago. I've been, like, buying stuff here and there, but I'm not, like, I haven't been going crazy. And this is what that one looks like. This is just, like, a pink shade, a taupe, um like a dark burgundy purple, a brown, and then a creamy shade, so. Here are the two palettes side by side. I know it, they probably seem alike, but this one is more darker tones. But yeah, so there's this one, and I really, really love this. Um, this is going to be perfect for fall and winter, or whenever. Um, there's no rules of makeup. Well, I mean, there's rules of makeup, but you don't have to abide by them. But anyways, so she sent me the Smoke and Melrose, and these were like probably two ninety nine, three ninety nine, something like that. So yeah, there's those. Um, and then I'll show you the Dollar sh Dollar Tree stuff that she got. Well, sent me. I'm sorry if I keep on looking over. I'm making sure that Cheddar's not being bad. Okay. So she sent me this LA Colors lip gloss and lipstick duo. I used to have a whole bunch of these, but then my sister came over and she kind of walked off with two of them. But I kind of gave them to her anyway, because she's more into red lips than I am. I'm more into like the pinky fuchsia colors. So this one is called Sensual. And actually, I wanted this for a long time. I just never picked it up. And then she just happened to have an extra one, so she sent it to me. So. Um, that's what that looks like. It's one of my, it's what's on my lips now. So, it's just like a, um, dark, pinky color. Well, the shades that I gravitate towards, so, there's that. It's very nice. Um, it's very buildable, so, it's not like, wow. And then the gloss is just, the gloss just looks like that. It's like a, almost lighter pink. Um, looks like that. It's right there. It's just to give you some shine. And they smell... Well, this, these smell like bubblegum. The one that I had before smelled like the, um, s the, um, sweet tarts or whatever. The lipsticks don't really smell like it anymore. Oh! And it just broke on me. Huh. It just broke. So... That sucks. Um, so I'm going to have to be careful with that, but yeah, that's the um, lipstick and lip gloss. She sent me some Physicians Formula stuff, which I didn't get in 
my Dollar Tree, um, they had like the organics or whatever, the bronzer and stuff, but Anyhow, I heard very bad reviews um, on that. Then she sent me the posi Physician's Formula. I always have a, such a hard time saying that. Um, but it's the Shimmer Strips Custom Eye Enhancing Gel Cream Liner for Brown Eyes. And that's what that looks like. And then it just comes with a black, a brown, and then another black. And I believe this, and they come apart, which is really convenient and nice. Like, if you don't want to take all of the um, colors with you. Um, so this top shade looks like that. I've already used it. I really like it. It's very creamy and very pigmented. And um, if you can tell, well, obviously. But have it on today. Um, this kind of looks like it has some purple shimmers in it, which I do remember a lot of people saying that one of them has, like, purple shimmers, because this is for brown eyes, so purple makes brown eyes pop. So, there's the brown with the purple shimmer. And then just a brown gel liner, which that's going to be perfect for when the days that, like, I don't really want, um, bold, dramatic liner. Which, I'm going to be honest with you, I really haven't been into makeup that much either. Um... I don't know, I've just been in a makeup rut. Today is, like, really the first day that I've worn makeup in, like, worn makeup in, like, forever. And then there's just this black one. So that's going to be really nice. And I haven't had gel liner in forever, so this is amazing. And I'm glad that I can still do it and not mess it up. But, yeah, so you get three um, gel eyeliners for a dollar. Well, they run anywhere from 12 to $13 in, like, Rite Aid or a drugstore. But this was a dollar, so good deal. And then there's this palette, which is the Fashionista one, and this was for green eyes, I believe. So that's what the packaging looks like. It's really cute. It has like this fake like crocodile, and then this cute little button. And then of course it comes with the little applicator, which I get rid of them because I really don't use them. And then here's the colors right here. So there's just a bunch of like really pretty smoky colors um you got like a silver like a purpley silver a gray and then some olive tones and greens but yeah i believe this was for green eyes which i think my eyes lean like i have blue eyes but i think they lean more towards the green side because if you put me and my sister together hers are like true blue like bright blue eyes and mine are like more on the green side so That'll work out perfectly. I can't wait to try them out. Um, yeah, so these run anywhere from twelve to thirteen dollars too, and a dollar. So if you can, like, I don't know if they're still in store, but go check out your local Dollar Tree. And then I got a couple more things. Um, I got two lip glosses, and there's a Milani Hot Flash Full Coverage Shimmer Lip Glosses, and I've seen so many like pictures and stuff on these and they're very pigmented. I haven't swatched them yet so this will be the first time but these are what they look like and they're very long lip glosses too. Um, I didn't see these on my Dollar Tree either. Um, sometimes I find good stuff, sometimes I don't. And wow, that is very pigmented. And this color is flashy. Um, it's just like a bright, like almost bubblegum pink. That's what that looks like. And then this one is called In a Flash. And this is like a fuchsia color, which... A fuchsia purpley color, which I love. And there is... Right there. So right there. Very, very pigmented. And sorry for the ice cream man. Um, it's almost October and it's still coming around. So these are very pigmented. I don't know if I said, these are only one swipe, so... Look how pigmented that is. I cannot wait to try these out. So, the next thing is the LA Colors um, Duo Eye Shadow Pencil. Now, I don't know if these would be good for, like, just shadow, um, because my eyelids get oily and they crease. So, um, this is what it's in. It's in Mocha Java. And I wanted it specifically for this. I was looking for this in my Dollar Tree. We never got them. And then just the other day, I saw them in my Dollar Tree and I didn't pick them up. But I'm glad I didn't. 
So it's just this color which is a tannish um, nude. And I've been like wanting a like creamy beige nude color for a while. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that because it probably blends in with my skin tone but it's right there. And that's also a cream and it's like no shimmer or anything. And this one doesn't have shimmer either. And this is a dark brown. That would be good as a liner. <coughs> and then it has this built in sharpener and all that. So pretty pigmented for it being LA Colors and Dollar, which I usually get lucky with them anyway. But And then the last thing is this um, Dum Dum's Flavor Lip Balm, and it's in cotton candy. And I've seen so many girls in here like want these or like haul these. And I saw them, but I just never thought to like pick them up because I have enough EOSs that I really don't use, um, if I'm being honest. And because I've been using um, Carmex, the Carmex in the tube a lot because it's been saving my lips. And also I've been using like these Revo ones from like Walgreens or whatever. This one is the watermelon one. Mm, I've been using that a lot. So anyways, <laughs> that's not even a part of the little like thing. So anyways, it looks like this. It's so cute. It just has like the um, lollipop wrapping and it's just pink on the inside and it smells like cotton candy. Like how? Oh my gosh. I love cotton candy. Like honestly, cotton candy is one of my favorite scents um, slash like can oh, not candy, but like anything like ice cream, candy, blah blah. I love it. So yeah, I was really happy to get that. So that is everything. I am like so insanely happy. Um, thank you, Alicia. Like, <laughs> you rock. And yeah, so I don't know if I'll be doing um, makeup tutorials as much because I feel like I've become repetitive with it and I don't know. I just, I don't know. And I don't really do that much. I don't really like stray out of my comfort zone any much, pretty much anymore. Like, I stick to, like, neutrals and, like, these kind of tones and stuff because, I don't know. I have just, I guess because it's getting, because I'm getting older. I mean, I still love color. I do. It's just, I don't know. I, my makeup tastes have changed. So, <coughs> I know that I'll probably do hauls and maybe reviews and, um, empties videos and stuff, but, I don't know. If there's anything you want to see, like, let me know. And also, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will try and record more, but hopefully life doesn't get in the way. Um, yeah, I will talk to you guys later, and have a good day.